Welcome to Bread from the Potter. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on November the 1st, 2017. The title of the message is God First, Everything Else Second. And the Lord Jesus began, Children, we are coming to the end of this year. Take stock of what you have accomplished this year. Then take stock of what you have accomplished for me this year. I gave each and every one of you an assignment. Some got new assignments this year. Some are still working on older assignments from previous years. But all my children, and I mean all, have assignments from me. Even a newborn Christian has an assignment, most of which involves feeding on my word and growing daily in wisdom and truth, and applying those principles to everyday life, especially as pertains to your interactions with others. I have many new assignments for my children, and I do not want to be left holding them in my hand well into next year. Some of you should have been completed with your assignments earlier this year. Case in point, my servant here, Viola. But instead, you have dragged out your assignment throughout the year, and some will not be completed until well into the next year. Therefore, I will have to return my new assignments back into my storehouses until you are ready to receive them. Because if I give them to you right now, you will be so overwhelmed that you will not accomplish anything. Children, I want you to put in as much effort in my assignments as you do in your own personal assignments. Simply because you do not see me physically does not give you the right to put aside my assignments for other matters. My assignments are more important than anything else that you have to do because they deal with first and foremost your own personal soul and spiritual growth as well as those of the ones you have influence over or who occupy your sphere of influence. Children, when will you learn that when you put me and my assignments first, then everything else will fall in place? I am not saying abandon your other responsibilities. No. That would be irresponsible of you. I give you time and space to accomplish all. Learn to trust me and put me first, and you will accomplish all that you must accomplish. Trust me to teach you how to plan your days. Redeem the time. Make good use of the time given. Use wisdom and believe me, I will pour out much wisdom upon you, and you will find yourself accomplishing more than you ever did before. The key is to put me first and everything else will fall into place. Does this mean you will no longer have any troubles? No. On the contrary, your troubles will increase because Satan will use these to distract you from spending time for and with me. But I give you my word that I will see you through all your troubles faster than you expect. For the closer you are to me, the more obedient you are to me. And as you obey my voice every step of the way, you will walk through the valley of troubles much faster than if you are living in disobedience. The disobedient ones always end up wanting to find their own way, and because they insist on using their own strength and wisdom, they end up wandering back and forth in the valley of trouble without finding a way out of it. Children, I never told you to rely on your own strength and wisdom. I told you to cast all your cares upon me and seek my kingdom first. Because you have failed to do this, you are still wandering around in confusion, trapped in a problem of your own making. I am patient. I will wait until you come to the end of yourself. Then I will lead you out of the valley of trouble. Until then, keep stabbing your toes on the rocks, bleeding from skinned palms and knees, trying to climb out of the valley and being bitten by the scorpions of discouragement and depression. I will wait. I am still waiting. As always, I love you, Jesus. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved. Amen.